Welcome to the step two. In the step one, we have simply created this phone widget, and inside that we have written "Hello World." We see how this package works. All right. So now, if you come to the final version of the website, okay, what are the components that we have? Okay, let's break it down into steps. First of all, we have this phone, and that that part is covered. We have created this phone widget uh, inside the home. Inside there is this home screen. This is left to create. That we'll come back to this later on. Okay. So what else is there? This website, as you can see, is getting a little bit of 3D look. How is it getting a 3D look? Using this SVG images of clouds in the background. These are the SVG images. Okay. So I'll now let you. Uh, I'll now take you to the website that I created this from. All right. These are the 3D cloud SVGs that I downloaded from our website. I'll take you to the website and we'll see how that how you can create them. And uh, to the background, to for the sky, I have created a simple gradient. And we'll do that. In this step two, we'll download these SVGs. And create this uh, sky color. All right. So okay, let's just go to this website, bgjar.com/cloudy. All right. So here you can input your dimensions of the canvas. Uh, I am using a MacBook, so these are my dimensions. I don't need anything more than this. All right. So I selected these background. Okay. This is a demo. Of, like you can see this uh, demo of the sky. This is the gradient that we are going to create manually in the application. All right. these are the four as you can see there are four layer of the clouds over here right so in the layer section you can create as many layers as you want okay so i've created these four layers and you can give any color any color literally any color to them all right so i've given this four colors and once you're done you just simply click on download uh after you download it uh, you can create it save it inside the assets folder so i'll just go over here I'll go inside this portfolio folder and I'll create a new folder. Assets. Inside the asset, I'll create another folder. Images, and I'll give this image a name. Now, as you can see in the main website, we have two of these cloud pictures. See, one are these red clouds, and other are these blue clouds only. But you can create as many themes as much you want. All right. So I'll just name this. cloudy blue okay and i'll hit save okay so i have saved it so next up but whenever we add an asset what we need to do is we need to add it inside the perspective.yaml as well right so what i'll do is i'll create assets over here i'll click on save and i'll just run flutter pub get okay that is done so next up what we're going to do is Uh, we'll have to wrap this entire widget of the home page inside a stack all right so i'll wrap the body with the stack okay so uh, now let's go back to the website now as we can see is uh, this sky must be the like the bottom most layer right and then on top of that we have overlaid these svgs and then on, on top of that we have overlaid these phones and this frosted containers thing right so this is what we're going to do we'll add a gradient for the sky over here first we'll simply create a container give it a box box decoration okay right now we're just um, writing a gradient over here but later on we need to make it like we need to implement proper state management as well i'll give it a begin property of alignment dot top left because we wanted to start we wanted to start from over here right so i'll give it a property of top left so next up we also need to give some colors to it so for sky blue color is a must and then for the other color i want it a little bit dull so i'll give it a black 45 color as you can see a black 45 color is like somewhat like a, a mixture of black and white I'll hit save and see what is the progress. Okay, as we can see it, we have gotten a little bit of gradient that is not looking very good right now. Now the next thing to do is we we'll need to add clouds on top of that, right? So for adding clouds, I need to add another package to my pub dot dev. So I'll just um, over here I'll write Flutter pub add. and the name of the package 
flutter underscore svg so this is a automated uh, approach right and one approach is you can go inside this pub dot dev you'll type in the name right you'll type in the name and you'll copy this and then you'll paste it over here but uh, when you run this command flutter pub add and package name it automatically adds that packages uh, that package in your pubspec.yaml file so you don't have to do that manually all right so what this package basically does it it allows us to display svg images in a flutter application right by default flutter does not have support for svg files svg images so using this package we can uh, we can use svg images as well okay oh, all right all right so now i've created the gradient right on top of the gradient we need this we do need that uh, sky right so this is how we use this package svg picture dot asset and this is where the location of the asset goes all right it is inside the asset folder then images and then cloudy blue dot svg okay now we do need to give it a height all right so that it uh, sticks to the bottom so we for that we'll give it a height of the entire screen itself so i've created a size variable this basically this variable what it does is it gives us the dimensions of the screen the height and the width so over here using size dot size dot height i have given this cloud svg uh, full height of this full height okay and then i'll do box width dot cover so that it it takes the whole available space all right all right why are we not able to see this as you can see when we refreshed it it is giving an error what is the error unable to load asset now uh, whenever you add an, a new asset uh, inside a new folder in pubspec.yaml what you need to do is you need to hot restart your application you need to hot restart your application all right so I, i'll stop the application and then rerun it all right as you can see things are finally taking some effect uh, this cloud is not looking very good but it depend on your creativity all right you can create uh, anything all right you can create any cloud in this website and then you can import it in your application all right so we have finally completed the step two as well this is what the step two was basically adding the gradient and adding the cloud image let's see you in the next step